What they're doing right now is they're going to institute a lockdown that never ends. What do you think benefits from that? Joe Biden gets into office, locks down the whole country permanently. All your businesses go out of business. I mean, you literally can't sell anything. <laughs> they make it so you can't even open. They make it so that customers can't walk through your doors. Your businesses close. Your jobs dry up. Well, where do you get your food from? Where do you get your products from? Amazon. You get them from Amazon. You get them from Walmart. You get them from... And by the way, what are you doing the entire time while the lockdown is going on? What are you doing? You're buying from all What are you doing while you're technology. sitting around at home? You're on your phone, made by Apple. Yes. You're, yeah. you're searching things on a search browser made by Google. Exactly. You're looking at videos on a video platform, YouTube, owned by Google. You're sending messages and buying products and all of this on a platform called Facebook. And what this represents is the largest wealth transfer in the history of the United States. They're taking all of the productive capital from the middle class and they're redistributing it in two ways. Redistributing it first to the usual ingrates, the non-taxpayers, the Democrat constituency over here at the bottom. And they're redistributing it to the very top, the Amazon, the donors, the giant corporations that put up all the money. It's that simple. And take a look at the coronavirus bailout. I thought for once, Congress maybe is going to have our backs. They destroyed the economy with the lockdown. Then they started to talk about bailing everybody out. They talked about direct cash payments to Americans. Well, if you combine the fiscal and monetary bailout, it was something like six or seven trillion dollars altogether. Do you want to know how much of that went to the direct cash transfers to American citizens like yourself? $250 billion. <laughs> 250. So they found, uh, they tell you all the time, we have to balance our budget, we have to have austerity, and so on. Well, they found, between monetary and fiscal measures, something like $7 trillion, and out of that, it was a quarter of $1 trillion that actually went to paying you.